All right, everybody, Unit 1, Day 17 is all about comparing numbers in scientific notation. While this is initially a very simple looking problem, the one thing that you want to make sure of is that you are comparing things that are in common um, terms. So while my initial thought would be that the 12 and the 13 are different, and therefore this is the bigger number, what I do notice is that this number is written in scientific notation because 1.67 is in my range of acceptable numbers, one up to, but not including 10, but this number is too large. So that tells me before I do anything as far as comparisons, I'm gonna go ahead and use my left one up one rule. Um, so left one with my decimal and up one with my exponent. And this number turns into 1.67 times 10 to the 13th. And I'm not gonna rewrite this problem because there's no reason to, but as soon as I do that, I notice that my exponents are the same, which means these numbers are probably similar. And I notice that my coefficient or my first term is exactly the same, which means the correct answer is that these two numbers are identical or equal. So the thing to take away from the first question is look to make sure both numbers are in scientific notation. They're both going to look like scientific, but one of them might, or possibly both of them might try to trick you. Make sure you do an adjustment with your left one up one or right one down one technique before you make a selection. Now, what if we have two questions that appear to be, once again, in scientific notation? My first thought is the exponents are the same, so it makes me want to choose this one. But when I look a little more carefully, once again, I notice that the coefficient or first term here is okay, but the coefficient here is incorrect. So I'm gonna, again, do my left one up one move, 1.36 times 10 to the second. And again, I'm not gonna rewrite this problem. So here we go. I'm gonna go back to comparing by looking at the exponent first. Now, these exponents are not the same, so that means this greater number is the greater symbol. That means the, the alligator opens its mouth towards the bigger number, so that means I'm choosing the greater than symbol. If, for the record, after I did my adjustment, this number and this number, the exponents would be the same, then I would, like I did in the previous question, refer back to the first term or the coefficient, and that would help me break the tie. But in this case, I don't need to break the tie because the two is bigger than the one. And finally, only one other example, and this video will be all done. We have questions that look like this. Choose the number below that is less than 3.705. Now, what I want you to be careful of is that this number is in scientific notation. And in this particular example, all of my numbers are within the acceptable range. So they all appear to be scientific notation as well. It is possible that Get More Math could change this or any of these first terms to not be in scientific notation. And if that happens, you're gonna to have to make some adjustments before you can do the comparison. But here's what I know for sure. If I think of a number line, let's just be super clear, the bigger the number, the larger the value. So in this case, and of course the smaller the number, the uh, smaller the exponent, the smaller the number. So in this case, I have one, two, three, and four. This number right here is the biggest number that I see because it's bigger than the one, the three, the three, and the two. So this is the biggest, and this one is the smallest. And that might be enough to already answer my question. Choose the number below that is less than or smaller than 3.705. The 3.705, it doesn't really matter in this case because the exponent I'm focusing on is two. So I'm looking for something that is less than two and I have a single example that is less than two, so then this must be my choice. If the problem said something like greater than this number, I would have three different options that are greater than that number. Of those three options, I have a single one that is clearly bigger than the other two, so if the question were something different, I would make a different selection, but you can see it's not, and that's how we answer these questions, and that is all for Unit 1, Day 17.